Good morning, and welcome back to another asinine list of poor vet stuff. Today I got eight of the most ridiculous, stupid, retarded, damn mods you've ever seen on a Corvette. So stick around. All right, first and foremost, another disclaimer. Again, nothing personal. This is all rhetorical. It's just meant to be funny. It's stupid. If you take offense to this, I'm sorry. It's not, not the intention here. A warning, some of these are pretty graphic. And there'll be plenty of visual aids to go along with whatever number I'm on. Now, number one is, is this fucking thing right here. Um, I've actually seen one of these in person, and, and it's as stupid looking in, in person as it is in this picture here. I guess in theory, it seems to be a good idea. The C1 was an awesome classic. C5 is a good car. Hey, this one looks cool. Hey, this one looks cool too. What could go wrong? A lot of things could go wrong. Look at this damn thing. The very front's okay. The very rear's okay. It's way too damn long. It's like a freaking land whale. It's obnoxious is what it is. And people spend a lot of money to do these stupid mod, I guess you could call it. I don't get it. The side profile, it looks incredibly bloated. It's about 14 feet too long in the middle. Yeah, I'm over even looking at this one. Let's just go to the next one. All right, number two, this thing. Uh, these are kind of popular as well. I've seen them around. I've seen them floating around the interwebs for some time now. Um, I'm not really sure what the deal is. If you want a wagon, just buy a station wagon. I've never seen one of these mystical unicorns in person. Thank, thank God. And if you're gonna make it a freaking wagon, you might as well put a second row, even a third row. Get the whole family in there. Number three, this thing. I call it the rim job. Now, I really hope this picture is not real. I really hope it's photoshopped. Something tells me it's not. That's, that worries me. To me personally, anything over a 20 inch wheel on a Corvette, maybe a 21, maybe. It just looks stupid. You're gonna break the damn thing. You're gonna be buying new rims all the time. The ride, the ride quality is gonna be atrocious. You're gonna destroy your hubs, your upper control arms, your lower control arms, your axles, you name it. The suspension on the thing is gonna suffer and it's gonna ride like shit. For what, to look cool for about five minutes to yourself? I don't get it. I just realized in the picture, it's actually a Z06. That makes me really upset. They would do that to their car. You know, like why? Why would you do that? I don't know. All right, number four. This one's pretty funny. The big footer. Here it is. And actually, there's a huge underground following for these Corvettes. Um, you can look up forums and stuff. And there's a lot of these C3s and C4s. I haven't seen a C5 one or a C2 and below, but C3s and C4s. Lots of Corvette monster trucks. Now, I'll be honest. The eight-year-old in me, shut up thinks this is like the best thing since VR porn. And it'd be a really cool, like little Hot Wheel car. But in practice, it's pretty stupid. Have you seen the picture of the one with the Snowplow Corvette, the C4? It looks really nice and it's really upsetting to look at. All right, number five. This is when shit starts to really, really go off the rails here. So just, just strap in, I hope you're ready. Here, here we got the Core Viper. In case you didn't hear me right, the Core Viper. This is literally a C4 Corvette under, under this abomination there is a Corvette the more I look at it it makes me really uncomfortable and at first glance if you're legally blind I guess you would say it is a Dodge Viper the more you look at it the dimensions just all look fuckered up and just awkward the side pipes don't quite fit it's all the dimensions are just a little bit off why someone thought this was a good idea I don't know the wheel gaps are pretty gross the headlights are a little too small I mean, it's convertible. You can see right in and see clearly that it's a, a Corvette inside. I don't get this one. I don't get it at all. And the, and the more you just look at it, it just resembles an eBay Chinese knockoff Dodge Viper. All right, number six. This one's actually really interesting. Look at this picture. Really study it. I'll give you a minute. The specimen you have here, <laughs> is not even a C5 Corvette. This is, in fact, a C4 Corvette with a C5 body kit. That's correct, this is a real thing. They were very popular about, say, 15 years ago. So those people that had a C4 that didn't want to buy a C5 would upgrade a C4 with a C5 body kit. This, I'm not, I'm not fucking with you, this is a real thing. Uh, the kit was rather expensive. So then you gotta put all the, all the body kits on it. Then you gotta pay to get it, uh, the body work done. After all said and done, to get the wheels and, and the fitment right, you're gonna spend more than if you just bought a damn C5. I, this is crazy, it's nuts. 
You can see the fuel door above the, the back of the bumper. The roof's not right. This makes it really, really uncomfortable as well. And it should make you uncomfortable too. We, we allow this kind of thing to happen. But the, I think that one's the most interesting of all these abominations we're going through. All right, number seven. This one bothers me on a personal level. I don't know why, but it really gets to me. And that's the single tip situation on any Corvette. I got a reference here to C7, but I've seen them on made from platforms. This car does not need a single tip exhaust. And that single tip exhaust sure looks dope that no one ever. And if you look at it just right, it kind of resembles a mouth. Not just any mouth, it's like a mouth that's kind of lethargic and whispering like, kill me, someone kill me. All right, number eight. This one's kind of graphic. We got these small kids in the room. You might want to ask them to leave. Um, your girlfriend and wife are around, it's kind of squeamish. I want to cover their eyes. Um, all right, here it is. This might be the worst case of uh, Corvette abuse I've ever witnessed. Um, I'm not sure why CPS wasn't called. Corvette Protective Services. How something like this ever was able to get done, why family or friends never intervened, I don't know. This this is really hard to critique. I don't even want to look at it. It's kind of sickening, honestly. The one thing about this situation I do know is that I hope it was taken out back and shot and put out of its misery. That'd make me happy if I knew that. Whole well, gang, that was eight Corvette abomination modifications that should never be done ever. And if if you're guilty of any of these, and you like it, good on you. Good for you. And again, I'm just I'm just being stupid. Some of these are actually interesting to say the least. I mean, they're pretty stupid, but a couple of these are kind of cool. And lastly, don't forget to sub. I only got 50 more subs to go before I give away $244 to some random person that's watching this channel right now. So, and thank you guys for watching and, and subbing. You guys are pretty cool. Alright guys, I'm out. Go enjoy the rest of your Tuesday.